old friend Takes you right back to the kitchen You can almost smell the cake That your grandma made on your birthday Have you ever laid on your back Under a poplar tree Thinking about all your memories Looking at the sky Wondering why this feels like home Like a Tennessee River in the morning Takes your breath without a warning Feels like home Like smoke rising up from the mountains All the beauty surrounds Feels like home Like Elvis and Dolly singing A melody that's bringing you home Cause it feels like home Feels like home Feels like home Have you ever been driving down the highway Looking at the sunset, it'll make you forget All the troubles every day Have you ever been staring up at the starlight? Getting pretty close to midnight. Sounds just like the wind singing your name. Feels like home. Like a Tennessee River in the morning takes your breath without a word. Feels warning. like home. Like smoke rising up from the mountains, all the beauty stuff. Feels like home. Morning. Uh, I wasn't quite sure where to start this vlog. I've sort of been filming little pieces of our life throughout the whole of July and I guess we'll start here because tomorrow is Tilly's sixth birthday and it's something I really want to document and keep. So we're starting off the vlog today, the day before her sixth birthday. Um, Tilly's woken up early this morning and her friends that lives on the ranch was over um, feeding and brushing a horse so the kids ran out and did that and I documented a little bit of that which was super cute. Um, we've been making some cookies, we need to make some cakes and um, just a few party things for a birthday. We're not actually doing a birthday party for her, she just got a few friends from the ranch coming over. We're going to do a few little party games and then probably go to the pool because tomorrow is going to be 38 degrees Celsius. So still quite warm here in BC. Um, it did cool down for a little bit since the last video for a couple of weeks and then it's heating back up again. Tilly doesn't know it yet but we've actually bought her some fishing rods for her birthday, one for Riley and one for her and we're actually taking her fishing the day after a birthday party. So, well not party, just a little gathering of friends. But we're really looking forward to that. We haven't gone fishing since we've been here in BC and it's something I've wanted to take the kids to do since I found out I was pregnant because Connor's not the fisherman in the family, I'm more so. Um, he doesn't really like to fish. So yeah, that's what you'll be seeing in this vlog. Our life in July and um, yeah, Tilly's party and going fishing. It's now night time. I've been spending the whole day getting organized for Telly's birthday party, doing the cake, icing it 50,000 times because it was so hot. The icing kept melting and I kept having to put it in the fridge. But we've got one very excited little girl here in bed. <laughs> Aren't you? Tomorrow. I'm turning six. That's right. Tomorrow morning is going to be your birthday. And do you know what? Uh, I made fairy garden too. It's all green. <laughs> That's that not. Fairies like green so you do the snow, so you can put like all green stuff around the fairy garden so you just know. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say. Do you know what I was going to say? It's nearly my birthday too. It is nearly your birthday. It's tomorrow. And guess what? What? It only feels like yesterday you were born. 
feels like it was yesterday that you came out my belly and I'd have an emergency C-section. And then, look at me. I just saw Ali by accident. Oh my goodness, you're too excited, aren't you? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna ask you one question for your birthday. Yeah. When you're 21 years old, yeah. what do you think you're going to be doing? Like, where do you think, are you going to have a family? Are you going to be working? Are you going to be traveling? What do you think you'll be doing at 21? I don't know. I'll think later. <laughs> that is not the answer I want. I don't know. I don't really know. I play games. Just play games? Yeah, that's it. So you just be playing games at 21? Yeah. Or you might have kids at 21. Yeah. But at 21, are you an adult? Yes. Yes. And what are you going to be doing when you're an adult? Playing because that's very good because that's work. Like you have to play a lot and that's like you're trying to like help them. So that's like helpful. Help who? Like your kids. Like that. Oh, so you're going to have kids so at 21? Yeah, I think. Okay. Um, and... What's your job? I'll, I'll play with, with them if they're still a baby or if they're kids. Are you going to be... Is your job going to be a stay-at-home mum or are you going to be working? What, what do you think I'll you'll be doing? I'll stay at home and play with them because that's my work. That's all I do. I thought you wanted to be a vet. Yes. Sometimes I... Sometimes I go to the... Sometimes I go to the hostel, like a vet place. Like some, sometimes, sometimes I don't go there because I, I have to like do stuff and then like a different day. Like one time maybe I do it. Okay. All right. You excited for tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Good night, darling. Good night. Oh, last mm. kiss. Being five. Mm. Mm. Then you're gonna be six soon. We did go. We did go. Right. Good night, darling. Well, hello, little baby. Your eyes have never seen the sun. You should know. You see the big cat balloon? Mm -hmm. I knew it was a cat. It's <laughs> 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 sleepy. all doing different. See the picture I got you? What, who's in the picture? Can I yeah, it's for your bedroom, honey. Okay? Can you can open the card. Thank you, Mom. And Daddy. <laughs> What does it say? I can't read. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. What's that in the corner, Tilly? My horse. <laughs> Did you get your horse? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want me to say 
Yeah. That's from the ranch, isn't it? Yeah, I just put it on the couch. Mm, make sure you feed it now. <laughs> put that one back over there, because that one's from Arnie Grace. So that pile over there is from Arnie Grace, Uncle Dom and the kids. And then that pile there is from Granny, Granddad, Ronan and Nolene. Auntie Nolene and Uncle Ronan. And then the rest is from us. All right, so which ones do you want to open first? Okay, so that, and that's a new toy box too. What is it? It's the horse. It's the horsey. Oh, very, which one? Very lucky. And, <gasps> and dad. And <laughs> Binoculars. You ready? You don't really stop. Yeah, you gotta be careful, it's breakable. It's for your fairy garden. I can put it outside my house. Like you, one I think day. you do it already, Ty. Yeah, that way. Do you like all the fairy stuff, Riley? Yeah. yeah. See you better, Riley. Let's see. Little squirrel. Cool. Aww. This is the bunny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it has this. It has a little cup holder for you. It's a it's, it's like, like a baby one. Is it good? Not baby ones, it seems very uh, size for you. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, so these two presents, uh -huh. you've both got a present because this is something fun we're going to be doing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All four of us are going to go do something fun. You need to open up this one first. What are we doing? Uh, what are we doing tomorrow, Tilly? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go fishing tomorrow, and that's the fishing net that when you catch the fish, you put the fish in there. So you can look at it. So you can look at it, and then we put it back in the water if you don't want to eat the fish. What do you say to Granny, Granddad, Thank Auntie Nolene, and Ronan? Thank you. There's, 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 you can go down the slide. If my mum goes down. Cool. Dear Tilly, happy birthday to you. Woo! <laughs> what do you say? Thank you. So we just come outside because Tilly wants to put her fairies in a fairy garden. But it's so smoky out here. You can barely see the sun and the sun's so orange. It's just ridiculous with these fires. So Tilly's friend and her made a fairy garden yesterday, but they're moving it over here now because it's a lot more fairy garden looking. Have you got binoculars? Can I see them? You got your binoculars? <laughs> oh, so I am all up there, up a tree. What's wrong? Hey? What's wrong? I'm through.
made it down to a fishing spot on the ranch that we live on, Douglas Lake Ranch. You excited? Yeah, Connor's got the bear spray. When we got here, we tooted the horn. Um, just because we are very remote and we see a lot of bears. Connor sees like five bears in a paddock when he's harvesting. So we're being bear aware. Connor's walked down here to the fishing little spot. We've actually been seeing fish jumping out the lake as we're driving past. So hopefully the kids catch something. We've only brought their fishing rods with us today because we're concentrating on the kids. So Riley's got a little dummy rod to help him learn how to cast and for Tilly to learn and then I've put like a little lure on this one for Tilly with a hook so fingers crossed they catch something. We've also brought the dogs with us um, that also helps deter any bears away and um, I know we're being over the top of the bear thing but we really do see so many bears here on the ranch and yeah better safe than sorry. I know any of our parents watching this right now would be <laughs> saying for us to do it so don't worry we are hey buddy walk down to daddy so connor's just yelled out that it's extremely muddy down here um not sure whether we'll be able to throw a line in down here we might have to move somewhere else but hopefully we can find somewhere close because i think it's quite stagnant the water and it's a bit yucky bear aware bear aware bear aware come on harley I swear she's not as fat as she looks. It's all coat, isn't it, girl? Wolf, come on. Good boy. Yeah, it's a bit stinker down here, isn't it? You see them jumping out? I think we might go down to the Nicola Lake, guys. It's a bit more flowing, hey? No? Don't want any? Riley might have a little sleep in the car, too. It's extremely smoky down here, but it also looks really pretty because it sort of looks like we've gotten up at 5 a.m. and it's a bit of fog, but nope. Smoke, unfortunately. Oh, Riley McGee. Oh, Riley! <laughs> <laughs> go get him, Connor! I'm gonna get thongs on. I do too. That's why I told you not to go in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> told you not to do that. Listen. <laughs> what are you doing? It's okay. It's part of going fishing. It's all the fun. <laughs> no, I have to try and look. look at Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the more you walk, the more the mud will come off. Okay? So run up to Dad. All right, guys, we're going to go and fish at another spot, probably 20 minutes out. It's not on the ranch. Um, it's a bit too muddy here for the kids to cast. And it's so stagnant in here and full of reeds that they're little fishing rods. You couldn't cast over there. So it's all good. Part of the experience. It's pretty dry anyway. It. You what? I get dirt on it. You got dirt on it? Show us your boots. I need to get dirt on it. Yeah. All right, let's go. We found our fishing spot, but we're not going to fish with the hook first of all, guys. We're going to do the little dummy one. Okay, so we put it up in the eye. That's called the eye. Okay, so you put the hook in there. We put this away. How so listen, this is a kid's one, so it doesn't have the bail on top. So to release this end, mm -hmm. you see this here, guys? You push that, look. So you press it like that and it does it. And then if you do this, it winds it up. So when you cast it, I've not casted this before mm. on one of these. Oh, I think you, let, let, let go. Watch mummy. You gotta watch the fishing line. So stand over there. Okay. You ready? I don't know if it's gonna work. 
Lose instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Lose instantly. <laughs> No there we go, but you still have to, um, they just need a baler on it. A bale thing, whatever you call it. Okay. See, look, it's all the way over there. So you wheel it in. So Riley, you do it first. So put one hand on here on this one, that hand on there, and this one, let go, wheel it in. Like that. Can you do it? I'll help you, I'll hold it. Yay, you brought it in. What colour fish is it? Blue. <laughs> no, it's not blue. Yellow, let go. All right, Tilly, I want you to have a turn. Now throw it. Oh, oh you caught some seaweed. Oh. <laughs> well, oh, oh. That's right, these faces there. Shall we do it again? You snagged on something, that's all. There's no fish on there. Start wheeling it in very slowly. Oh, got it. Oh, it's very hot. Don't leave your phones in the car. In the sun. You caught something! You caught a stick fish! Woohoo! <laughs> Did you catch fish, Tilly? No. <laughs> oh, careful. Tilly, go stand it's next to Dad. Bears in there. Why is there bears in there? How do you know? Can you see them? Oh, there's a big wolf. No, don't go up there, Riley. Don't need up there. Okay, guys, uh, fishing's been cut short. Billions of ticks were running up our legs down there and we didn't even realize. I'm not uh, risking the kids with that, so um, we stripped them off down here. I've done a bit of a strip off, so was Connor, and um, we'll go and check at home. Luckily, we're only down the road. Ranch is just down here, so to be continued. All right, guys, we're back from fishing and the whole tick thing, and I just thought I'd jump on here and sort of end the video a bit because, and sort of touch base on what I meant by uh, the whole tick thing. When ticks happen or anyone's got a tick on them, I'm just like, quick, strip off. So we literally stripped off on the side of that lake, um, jumped in the car, came home. Everyone stripped off and checked each other. And yeah, now we're just having some lunch. Just been chopping up some cucumbers. Um, I don't know why I stripped the skin off them. I was thinking I was doing it for the kids. Kids had a sandwich and um, I'm cooking some chicken breast up at the moment. So a little uh, life update, I guess, to end the video is we are absolutely loving Canada. It suits us so much. We love the outdoor life. Summer is beautiful. We're almost coming to the end of summer now. Um, we love the wildlife. We love the outdoors. We love everything about it, the people, um, the food. I mean, the food's very similar to Australia, but um, a bit more of a selection for my diet of gluten-free and everything. Um, yeah, we just love it and we want to apply for permanent residency like we thought we would. Um, and we're just looking into that and all the avenues we have to take at the moment. We've got a two-year visa here. So we're into, I think, month five or six. So we've got a year and a half plus left to get it sorted. And worst case, if we haven't got permanent residency by then or applied for it, we will apply for a second working holiday visa because I'm not here on a working holiday visa. I'm here on a work permit, but yeah, I can activate one on my um, Australian passport. Connor's loving his work. I mean, he's done it for many years. He was working as a farmhand for about seven years before he worked in a, as a precision farming um, specialist. Um, and then now he's back at farm work again here on the ranch. Um, harvest hours are a little hard, but um, I mean, that's like that anywhere. It's not just from this ranch. He's been doing from 7 a.m. to about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, roughly. Um, and then the other day, or the last couple of days, he's finished at 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m., sorry, so home about 6 um, because it's been a little uh, wet. I can't get my words out right now. I'm too busy thinking about my chicken burning. Um, future plans, we're not sure um, whether we'll stay in BC forever. We do plan on buying um, a ranch in Alberta once we get permanent residency. 
Uh, and when I say a ranch, I'm not talking about the size of the show Yellowstone or something. We can't afford that. But something about 150, 160 acres roughly, um, maybe around Red Deer, to the west of Red Deer. We're not sure yet. Um, we are looking at buying Talia Pony and myself a horse soon. Tilly's been begging this past week, absolutely begging for a horse. Um, her friend here on the ranch rides and she just really wants a horse. So we're looking into that. Um, I have been working with a ranch horse, um, one of the guys on the ranch. He's the third owner on the ranch that's owned this horse and she's incredibly hard to um, capture. Um, as soon as the lead rope and halt is out, she just runs. So they've tried all the usual ways to try and capture and I've been doing a little bit of an alternative method. Um, I've done two sessions so far and I'm able to massage her face while holding the halter in my hand. So both sessions were maybe 30 minutes each. I find it a little hard to get enough time to work with horses when I've got the kids and Connor's doing harvest hours, which is why we haven't committed ourselves to buying horses yet because, well, once I buy a horse, I want to put 100% into it. I don't want to half-ass it. So probably after harvest, we'll look into getting the pony and a horse and we get to go tack shopping, buying halters and bridles and saddles, saddle pads, rugs, all the all the things. Actually, that's one thing I do notice here. Rugs aren't seem, well, they don't seem to be a thing. Maybe it's different in the show world, but... um. If we're in Australia, once it drops like to 15 degrees, all the rugs are on, whereas here, rugs are just not a thing. Anyway, I'm babbling. Um, if you've got any questions, please write them below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment like usual, guys. And thanks for continuing supporting our channel. And we'll see you in the next video. See ya.